Hi, uh, welcome to IBM Cloud Certification Series. Today we are going to talk about monitoring in cloud that helps you complete the certification successfully. So this is section 3.5 in the Cloud Certification Series. So what is the objective of this uh, presentation? Basically, we are going to explain you what are the various methods that are involved in monitoring the application in, a, in Bluemix uh, platform as a service. So what are, what are these methods actually? Measure, we, we can measure the application availability, CPU, mem, CPU and memory usage, response times, throughput by using the service. Monitor, we can also do the same uh, monitoring using logs, uh, um, which is going through the command line and also while looking at the logs when the application is running in the logs folder. Of, and then we're going to talk about the resource utilization and we can, we can do the same similar thing in the resource utilization of IBM Bluemix Automate Auto Scaling Service when you configure an application to perform auto scaling. So in, you can refer to um, uh, section 3.2 if you want to go through the auto scaling service resource utilization, that will help give you more in-depth details of those. The last one which you're going to cover is the dashboard of this monitoring and analytics service and how it looks like. Going on to the next slide, uh, how, do, how, how is monitoring done in Bluemix? So there's a service for monitoring and analytics service that performs the perform monitoring resource metrics about the Liberty and Node.js applications in Bluemix. This service allows you to identify potential issues that are there in the application runtime, and um, you can configure this service to your application by going through uh, and selecting the application and um, by adding a service or API. Please refer to the labs uh, if you want to. Uh, if you want to go a lab or demo if you want to go and look look at the step by step process of how to monitor how how to configure monitoring your monitoring your application in Bluemix. Uh, we're going to talk about what are the options that are available um, to monitor applications in Bluemix. Um, there are various options that you can look at in the slide that, that, are, that are defined that tells you how you can do monitoring in Bluemix. First thing, we're talking about um, the application logs before and after the application start, deployed and started using the command line tool, which is Cloud Foundry command line tool that is available in Bluemix. The second option is to go and look at the application logs in from the UI after the application is started. So you can also look at the performance metrics from using the Bluemix monitoring service, which is option number three, which we're going to which we're going to talk about more. Option number four is using using viewing the performance metrics in auto scaling service as defined in in uh, section 3.2 of the certification series. This, this option number four is available only if you um, add an uh, auto-scaling service to your application. Option five is one can also view logging using the monitoring ability from the DevOps service. Um, for this, you need to please look at the DevOps service uh, tutorials or DevOps service certification series in the cloud certification. Now let's go to the next slide that talks about um, first option one. So being being able to monitor uh, to view your application log files uh, is essential for any developer. It developers uses their log statements to gain insight into what is happening in their application throughout throughout the application lifecycle. One of the methods that you can do for achieving the logs is. There's a com the command CF logs app name recent gives you a recent logs that are in the application that is a, that are in the logs buffer of Bluemix for a specific application. Similarly, you can do CF logs app name that just really dumps all the logs onto your onto the um, command line dash command line that will help you review through all the logs for a specific application, and um, you can go through and skim through the logs for for your app. This command line tool will be very critical for you to monitor and debug issues before an application is even started. And you can also set different types of log level settings in this, uh, in, in this, in this command line tool, mainly for Node.js and Java developers. So 
IBM Liberty Runtime developers can change the trace um, specification dynamically from the Bluemix console without even restarting the application. So this will help uh, the developers do uh, online uh, trace based on their configuration from the Bluemix uh, Liberty Runtime. Going on to the next slide, basically we're going to talk about option two. So option two is monitoring IBM Bluemix applications log after the application is started. This is not the command line option, but this is the option that has been in the Bluemix UI. And once you click on the runtime of your application, once your application is deployed and stable, you want to use the logging service. You want to use the logging service. There are a couple of reasons for wanting to use this logging service. The first reason is to uh, is using CF logs will only allow you to see so far and back in the logs. The only way you can view the logs of your app or a specific, uh, log, specific time is to use this logging service. If you want to browse the browse the Bluemix catalog, you will come across a monitoring analytics service. This service can be used with any app um, using the Liberty or Node.js runtimes. Also, you can use persistent logging service, which means that the logs are deleted after the application restarts, and the, the restarts can happen as a normal course of action, especially if you're uh, practicing continuous integration and delivery in this case. So the nice thing about this service is that it offers great searching functionality, so you can use an identification log pattern. Coming on to how you can view the performance metrics of using this IBM Bluemix monitoring service option. This is the option three where it shows you how, how are you going to view the metrics, how you can go and look at it and determine what is thread usage. The first thing you're going to look at is the JVM CPU usage, uh, which is useful identifying any usual spikes in the CPU. And the next is the Java heap usage. If you're looking at the diagram at the bottom left-hand corner, uh, allows you to see if, if how much memory heap memory for, is used for your application, and if it fails within an if it falls within an acceptable range. You can also check um, Bluemix application thread pool usage, as shown in the diagram on the top right-hand corner. That tells you how how many how how is your thread pool usage? Is it meeting your expectations or is it not? Right. And the last the last piece you can view in the view in the performance metrics is to monitor how often you how how long your application is running garbage collection and how to how how you can reduce or uh, reduce the implications that may have an impact on the performance. So you can see the garbage collection and the count duration on the right hand side bottom corner of the option three in this diagram. So okay, let's talk about the fourth option. Viewing per, after viewing the performance metrics, what are the other options that are available in here? So now once your application is stressed and you're, you want to view your performance metrics, there is another service that is available in Bluemix called Auto Scaling Service. If you configure this Auto Scaling Service, you can just go and uh, view your performance metrics also in, in this. This can only be viewed only if you configure the auto scaling service for your application, uh, which is in the auto scaling service and description and the lab and demo are in section 3.2 of the IBM uh, certi cloud certification series. Option five is the next slide, which is the last option. So please refer to, um, please look at the DevOps section of the cloud certification series on how you can monitor and view the logs for your application. There are other options. You can also have monitor the Liberty in Bluemix with the J console using JMX. Now let's go to the final slide of this where we're going to talk about the bookmarks. Basically, these are the bookmarks that are available for the service. I encourage you to go through these uh, bookmarks before you go and configure the service for your apps. And also, if you want to have a step-by-step -step instruction for monitoring an analytic service, please refer to the demo and lab that are that have been uh, created for the certification, cloud certification series for monitoring. Thank you, and have a successful cloud certification.